uh, this one might be a little controversial, mm-hmm. um, but there's different types of conversion types that you can get. Uh, lead forms versus phone calls, uh, primarily versus scheduling a call uh, versus pu- putting an order in, putting a down payment, whatever. Um, but you can you can promote different types of leads to your Google Ads traffic. So in this case, let's say all your Google Ads traffic is the same quality or you're getting good and bad, you can use the stuff, the conversion types on your page to, to drill down on what kinds of leads you get. Maybe you think calls are better than forms or vice versa. Can you kind of speak to that? I, I, don't, I don't know where you're going. Oh, sorry. Well, what, what I was saying is like some I'm people, I've gotten feedback from clients that sometimes say, hey, if I get a lead form, that person is actually more serious than an impulsive person that just called me. Ah. So if you have to target, which and it's fine. A lot of cases we do. If you target a general keyword like movers near me or payroll software, using your website to kind of uh, get more of the better quality leads, if that's a type of lead that you get versus other type of leads. So okay. is that, am I coming I, to yeah. clear? Yeah, yeah. So so for example, here's a good and bad version of that. Bad version is you just point people, like the only conversion you have on your page is a phone number. And let's say the traffic that you're getting has high conversion volumes, but when you go in and look at your search terms, it's a lot of competitors, right? Competitor yeah. names. This is, a, this is an example of where something's converting really great on paper, but in reality, it's people just clicking that phone number and realizing, oh, this isn't the company I want, right? Yeah. A, a good example of that would be, um, that same situation would be someone who does a service where it's an emergency kind of thing. You know, yeah. my, my, my water is broken on my fridge or, you know, uh, what, you know, uh, s- s- some gas is spraying out of something or another, you know, some kind of thing in the home service where it needs to be just a phone number. There should not be a form, right? Mm-hmm. Because if it's a form, it's not really an emergency, and that's not the value of the kind of traffic you're wanting to bring. So, um, I, I, hopefully, that yeah. solidifies so the you can, example. You can think about that, um, and you can use the design of your pages to kind of influence uh, the kind of leads you get. And one example I've talked with with a client is they've told me, "Hey, actually, when someone fills in the lead form, believe it or not, they're more serious than impulsive people who just call yeah. and want an answer to their problem yeah. for free." And so we promoted um, contact submissions, uh, both in the ad copy and on the website and the placement of the form and the minimalization of the phone number. But at the same time, um, you want to be careful with that because maybe you don't want to give up on different types of leads that you can get because then you might be influencing customer experience and possibly that could have a landing page quality score issue. Um, But at the end of the day, like we said earlier, you're not judged on quality score, you're judged on money in the bank when it comes to business and maybe you can take a ding on quality score if it means the leads you're dealing with are going to convert into paying customers better so you have to think about that 